loss of Andy, how big was that tonight? And maybe how big could it be going forward? I mean, I guess that remains to be seen. But uh, you know, like I told you at halftime, he's a, a guy. He's a leader in the locker room. Um, his play speaks for himself. But there's so much that he does for us, uh, for me, that uh, is unseen. So it's a huge loss. Um, you know, guys are going to get their chance to step up and fill that role. But um, you know, I don't want to take anything away from Andy because he's, in, you know, like I told you guys this week, he's an unbelievable player, unbelievable person, and just. Uh, a great locker room voice for us, and just a great uh, role model for you know, this town. I imagine you'll be when you're looking back on the tape, it'll be the little details and some of those drives, dismissed opportunities, missed throws. Uh, which ones are you talking about? Well, I mean, you're looking at the end, and you're kind of a second and 22 situation. I understand it would be a holding, but I mean, some of the situations that you guys were unfortunately into. Oh yeah, uh, you know, penalties, you know, drive stop, you know, drive stop and penalties are why you call them drive stop and penalties. You know, that's. There's not many calls for first and 20, and you know for second and 20. Um, you know, I, I, give, I wish I could give you a, a better answer, but uh, uh, from a throw standpoint, from a decision standpoint, I'd have to watch the film and give you give you something better on day one. How did you feel about yourself out there? I felt good, and uh, it's a perfect night for football. Um, you know, this is a great place to play. Lights are low. Just, you know, I, I felt great.